Chances for severe weather tomorrow, like Jim said, especially the tornado-filled storms of two weeks ago. But it's that severe stuff that has the Senate Majority Leader hoping to upgrade weather technology. News Channel 9's Andrew Donovan tells us about the real-time tracking he's forecasting. Hikers of Green Lakes State Park may not notice this weather station rising from the brush with instruments twirling in the wind. It feeds real-time weather data to a state system called Mesonet which Senator Chuck Schumer wants to modernize in light of recent extreme weather, including the record number of tornadoes, notably the EF2 in Rome two weeks ago. If you saw downtown Rome and the pictures of downtown Rome, it was devastating, devastating. You'd never think it would happen here. Rome is still tallying its damage to know if it will get any federal financial help, but Schumer isn't waiting to commit a $10 million increase in the Mesonet system nationwide. The tornadoes might not have occurred in Rome, just a little shift of the wind and a little shift of the temperature that could have occurred right here in Syracuse. New York's mesonet system is made up of 127 of these weather centers spread sporadically across the state. Most local counties have one, maybe two, but Onondaga County has three. The Senate Majority Leader hopes this money will buy even more. There's new technology that allows every station to get more information on all the atmosphere above them, all the way up to the stratosphere. So it's both new technology and more stations. The stations have limits, only producing real-time or archived data from one instant in one location. Radars show better sweeps of storms, but Schumer thinks Mesonet is worth the money. It's not that expensive. $30 million will solve the problem for New York and for upstate and give us the most modern technology that's available. It's a huge bang for the buck. Whoa. To better warn of big bangs coming from severe skies. In Syracuse, Andrew Donovan, News Channel 9. Schumer blames the extreme weather on climate change and worries about Republicans who've threatened dissolving the National Weather Service and related agencies.